Welcome to Trumpet of Salvation to Israel, a Hotel Gilgal with a wonderful, beautiful biblical artwork. Today we want to take a look at um, David. Um, what a story. Uh, to me, when I think about this picture here, as you can see, Samuel anointing David, but not before his own father, his brothers just have everything else in mind than he himself. You can really see it there where he just, um, David sitting down in the, in the field, in the sheep down there, and he's praying, composing psalms and melodies and songs unto God and developing relationship. And praise God for the difference between religion and relationship where every religion tried to tell us what to do to appease life with God and come God and reach out to our own heart, takes this heart of stone, give us a new heart and want us to walk with him in a sincere, true relationship. And when the hour have come to um, um, exchange Saul for disobedient, yeah, what a word King Saul have heard from Samuel to obey is better than sacrifice. And the hour have come to move Saul and to really replace him with someone sincere, someone which will be willing to be true to God and true to truth. And so David is the man. However, when he's sent out to Jesse house uh, to anoint the king, uh, everybody think that he is the one, beginning with the elder brother Elihav and uh, when he's really going throughout all the brothers, Samuel said, no, none of them are to be the king. Do we have another child? Who ever thought about David? Perhaps you be the person who ever think of you to make some difference in this world, to make some difference in the kingdom of God, and maybe even uh, uh, your friends, brothers, sisters, uh, people really are um, labeling you as a nobody. Don't let no one label you and make of you this, that, or the other. Get right relationship with God because from there, there's no telling what God will do with you. So they labeled him, oh, him, he's in the field, he's a nobody. No, that's the man. You bring him here, and unless he's here, we're not going anywhere. So they call him. And what an anointing, Samuel anointing David. And you think that when the anointing comes upon your life, that everything will just begin to be smoothy, rosy. But as you read the life story of David, you realize that from the day in which he's been anointed, elected by God, only trouble came across his path. And so, why do we think today in this 21st century that when we come to God, our path should be all rosy and all joyful, not willing to take, you know, in the suffering of Messiah? No, that's not the case. In no true man of God is the case. You come to God, you're sincere with God, and trouble begins to run across your path. But David knew how to encourage himself and the Lord continuously. And that's what I really want to encourage you, to, to really encourage yourself in the Lord. So he runs from cave to cave, all throughout the Judean hills, uh, running for his life until he really comes to the throne. But it didn't come to him easily. And even when he sits there, troubles. But is that not what Yeshua told us? In this world, you have trouble. Fear not. I have overcome this world. And that's what it's all about. When we always be looking forward to the new Jerusalem, as you can see here in that picture, yeah, um, we, are, we realize that all the troubles that we pass through in this world amount to nothing next to what's really awaiting us, the glorious new Jerusalem. Encourage yourself in the Lord, be blessed, and just understand that following God Following Yeshua, persecution will come your way. Learn to accept it, rejoice in it, and all of it, give thanks to God. Lots of love from Trumpet, Jacob, 
Israel, love you dearly.